Hi, this is Kate from Isilicious Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make my little dog bracelet. So we're going to need brown bands and we're going to need a couple of black bands and I use the mini pony beads for the eyes and for the nose and we're going to need a clip of some sort and my clip of choice for bracelets is the Q-clip because they lock into place and I feel that they're just a little bit more secure. Our loom is going to be in the offset configuration which means that column 1 and 3 are slightly lower than column 2 and we're going to be double banding. Double banding means you take two bands and you place them across the peg as if they were a single band like that. So unless otherwise told we will be double banding. Let's get started. There's the outline of the face. We're going to take a single band and stretch it and put it across there to tie things in. And then for our eyes, I'm using a 2.75 crochet dude hook. And I like this one because the uh, mini pony beads actually go right down it. I'm going to take that, I'm going to thread these beads onto it. If you don't have a hook that will do that, um, just use your normal threading um, method, whether it's um, floss or a metal threader. I've got a tutorial on how to make a metal threader. Uh, they work too. So we'll put that across here. We're going to do ears. Now I'm doing the ears in the same way that I do um, boots. Take two bands, put them on your hook and wrap it once and twice. And then take another two bands and slide them over like that, move it down into the middle there. And I try and make it so that it's not all you know, twisted and bunched up. Reclaim the end of your bands. And unfortunately, these were the only brown bands I could find and they really are very bunchy. Another two bands, wrap it round. and move that on again down to the middle. Using the first one that we made, you take the, the side with the two bands closest to the end of the hook, lift it up and over so it's like that. You're then going to take this side off the loom and replace it with the other side of the band, like that. And we're going to move this side up, over and off like that. And then we're going to reclaim our bands. Pull this out a little bit and it sort of goes at a bit of a right angle like that. Can you see? And we're going to stick that on his ear. So I'm a bit tongue-tied this morning, aren't I? Let's try that for the other side. Two bands, wrap once and twice and slide it onto two bands. Straighten them out so they're not all twisted, which these ones particularly are, and reclaim the end of your band so that you have that one on your hook. Take another two bands, wrap it once and twice, and then take another two bands, and we're going to lift that up, over and off, and slide it to the middle. Then taking the ones that we did to start with, the two, the two bands that are closest to the end of the hook, take them up and off like that. Can you see that? Then we're going to take these ones off the loom, off, off the loom, off the hook, and replace it 
with this side here and then we're going to do the same take these over and off the hook and then reclaim our bands now normally I'd put it this way and reclaim but this time I'm doing it this way to reclaim because and I've completely told you wrong it doesn't matter um, I wanted it to face this way but what I'm going to have to do is take this off my hook reclaim the ends of my bands like that because I'm right handed and pop it on like that okay so now we want to do we want to raise his snout out a bit as you can see this comes out so we're going to do a little snout take a single band loop it on itself and place it here another single band loop it on itself and place it underneath same here oops and the same here and on this third column like so we're going to put end caps on all of these so take a single band and wrap it around your fingers twice now for our crossover band what we're going to do the caffeine level in my blood is low today <laughs> okay reclaim that Take a single band, throw it around, there we go, single band, loop it on itself, figure eight, and now we'll slide this on, there we go, that's better, and we are going to stretch that across those three pegs, like that, and keep that as much in the middle as you can, okay? Now, what we're going to do is dig down past the end cap, grab the two bands and loom up. Now, over here, what we're going to do is splay this one out so that it goes around that little nose. Okay, dig down, grab the two bands and loom up. Loom up push that back and loom up push back and loom up we're going to take this off the loom and it's going to look like that now what we're going to do is take a single band and we're going to thread these over it So you're moving them from the hook onto that single band. Move them down to the middle. Make it so they're not too bunched up. And then reclaim the end of your band. And you kind of want them to be even. All right. Now, on the other side, you can actually link one over the other like that, just to keep it from falling off if you don't have a holding hook sometimes I'll just put a holding hook there just while I'm doing that or a pencil or anything like that then on the other side grab the end cap bands like I'm doing here and we're going to thread a single band through that And again, reclaim the end of your band. So this is going to be his snout that we're going to put here. And what I'm going to do is keep both sides of my bands open. Come here, you. Like this. And attach them to those 
pegs. So the first one I'm going to attach to the top peg here and then this one to the bottom peg like that and the same over here the top one Hang on. like that and it's just going to sit on top of this middle peg until we've loomed stuff in okay now the other thing that we need to do is give him a couple of layers we want him to have chubby little cheeks so taking two bands I'm going to try and push these down a bit but it's quite difficult because it's quite high up put the two bands here and two bands here and do the same on the other side now remember you can make your dog whatever color you want I've just done a brown dog because I'm not terribly adventurous <laughs> now we're going to do the arms of our bracelet and it's double banding all the way to the bottom of the loom Like that, and on the other side, we're going to put end caps on these. And we're going to put an end cap in the middle here, on the end of his chin. Like that. Alright, we are ready to start looming. So, we're going to go down to the bottom here and dig down past that end cap and loom up. Now when we get to this point, point here, we're going to dig down and find the two top brown bands which are the first layer and loom those up and then the same for this. Just be careful that you don't accidentally loom in the snout bands or the eye bands. Okay, so we're going to go down back to this side now and loom this one up and again we're on the first layer so dig down and find the top brown bands, there's two of them and it doesn't matter if you do them one at a time nope, that's the wrong one it does matter if you do the wrong one and it does matter if your bands come off excuse me a second while I put the whiskers back on <laughs> alright, let's find that top band again there we go
Now, we're going to dig down past the end cap here and grab the two top bands and they're going to my left in this instance, depending on which, which ones you laid first and last. And then this side looms to the right. Now what we're going to do is take these bands off our loom, hold them out here, and we're only taking them off to this point here. We're going to dig down and find that first layer and loom that up. We're going to take our bands and instead of replacing them back up here, we're going to replace them on this second peg here. And this is what's going to give him his chubby cheeks. Let's do the same this side. Take this off the loom down to this point here, dig down, find the two bottom brown bands, which is the first layer, and loom up. Then we're going to replace those bands like that. Now what we're going to do is dig down and find the two bottom bands and loom up to the ears on either side. loom across to the top of the head now the fun part we're going to dig down past this end cap and grab those two bands we need to lift his snout up so sort of flip it up and loom to there next we're going to take these two brown bands here and we really need to lift this up because it needs to be loomed up to the band above it then you can put that back down okay and then loom this up to the top grab two brown bands i always use two just for insurance really in case you know one breaks you've still got the backup of the other push your hook down the center of this peg and out through the side grab the bands on your hook and twist them up and around to the back of the peg and you want it at the back of the peg because you're going to tie this off in a slip knot. Take the first two bands and pull into a slip knot. So now we're ready to take our little dog off the loom and I'm going to use the back of a metal hook to help me do that. I prefer doing that because I don't like my bands to break and I feel this just helps relieve some of the pressure that can be on the bands. And usually when I just get to where it's just the uh, two bands, I just pull that down. That's not a problem. It's where there's multiple bands that I really worry. Okay, so moving my loom out the way, we're going to straighten him up. I suppose he looks a bit like a bear without whiskers, doesn't he? <laughs> pull him into shape. I'm going to grab a black Sharpie and draw his eyeballs on, one there and one there. Now for his whiskers, I'm going to tweak his nose up a bit actually. So I've got his eyes, his nose, we're going to hide these double bands at the back. Um, I'm just going to tuck them behind a couple of these uh, bands that are already here but if you feel more secure about putting um, a clip on that works too whichever whatever makes you happy really uh, I know that there's a slip knot there so I'm not too concerned I have to admit so I'm just going to leave it like that now for his whiskers oh well, let's Let's tie his uh, let's tie his little bracelet bit up first. Um, I'm going to put my hook through the end cap portion, stretch it out. Now, as I said, I'm using a Q-clip, which locks into place. So I'm going to stretch that out and put my Q-clip on, like that, and then line it up because I don't want it to be twisted with the other side. 
and there's my end cap here and here is my Q-clip so pull that out knock the camera <laughs> sorry guys and pop that under like so now for his whiskers as I mentioned yes it does it does look a bit like a grizzly bear like this or even if you did it in uh, greys and whites and blacks it could be a wolf <laughs> I'm using two black bands and I'm going to poke my hook through his snout like that and grab the bands and I'm going to pull one through and I'm going to go back and do the other one and if you do go back to do the other one try and go in a, a different spot so that you're not pulling the other one out so there we go and then I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to snip those into individual whiskers like so hmm, I've got a bit of a wonky eyed dog anyway there is my dog bracelet I hope you enjoy making them take care